Hey everyone, welcome to Game Changers, the interview series where we get to know a little bit more about the industry leading agents here at Remax Peninsula. Today we are talking with Gina Beebe. Gina has been a licensed realtor in Virginia since 2019 and with Remax Peninsula also since 2019. So let's get started learning a little bit more about Gina. So Gina, tell us, where are you originally from? Uh, born and raised in Michigan. Uh, but we are military, so travel around a lot. And um, been Alabama, Arizona, New Mexico, here. Awesome, awesome. And then where do you live now here? What city do you live in? Hampton, Virginia. Awesome, very cool. Okay, super important question. Thin crust or regular crust pizza? Oh, thin crust. Thin crust, okay. All right, topping, what are the toppings of, of choice? Okay, well, this is probably going to get a lot of people to go, mm, but I'm a ham, pineapple, yellow peppers. Like banana peppers? Yes. Okay, you're speaking my language. Don't stop. That's totally me. Throw a little green pepper and onion on there, and I'm like, good. You totally lost me a green pepper and onion. <laughs> I was with you up to that point. <laughs> what half the pizza? I'm Italian. It's like garlic. You put onion and green pepper and everything. So oh, that makes sense. Okay. Totally makes sense. So what did you do before you were in real estate? I was in finance. I did bookkeeping, payroll, business managing. Awesome. Very cool. All right. So let's talk about real estate. What, give us a, a memorable real estate moment of yours. Mm, um, Okay, this is probably completely out there, but I don't like bugs and there are so many bugs here. So I, last year I remember um, taking a client to a vacant property and walking up to the front door and there was the largest spider web going like across the, <laughs> the doorway yeah. and I, I looked at her and she looked at me and I was trying to be strong and, and I was like, and the, I swear the spider was this big on it. And I was like, okay, what if, woo, okay, we sure we want to see this property? <laughs> it was awful. It was awful. So I went to my car to find what I could to knock it down with and um, I had nothing. So I ended up with the um, screen that you put in your windshield huh? and I put it over my head <laughs> <laughs> and I ran it as fast as I could <laughs> to get underneath it and into the door and then the, that scared the spider so it ran up and my client came following behind me but I now carry bug spray. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to, that's a good, that's something you will never forget. No. Awesome. No. All right. So we're here in quarantine right now. And, um, what is your favorite beverage of choice? And you can do it, you know, before five o'clock or after five o'clock, whichever one or both. Oh, okay. Um, non-alcoholic is water and lemon. And um, my favorite Bev right now that I've created through this quarantine is diet orange soda, mm -hmm. vanilla vodka, and heavy whipping cream. Whoa. Whoa. That's yeah. not, is that like a dream sickle? It, it tastes exactly like a dream sickle. And if you want to just like totally spice it up and change it, throw diet root beer in there and you got yourself a little root beer float. Whoa. All right. All right. Game changer right there. See? Name of the show. Can I keto. Say it's keto. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. The heavy cream. I forgot about that. All right. So this might be a hard one for you because you've been a lot of places, but favorite place to visit or favorite place that you've been? Um, sheesh. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the favorite place that I, I've been, and that's probably going to be um, Dominican Republic. Oh, cool! I really, really like it there. Nice. In Jamaica, they're they're very they're so close. People, 
people in Jamaica are super, super nice. And I love the scenery in Dominican. I don't know. It's kind of the toss up. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So with that being said, um, where is the first place you're going to go when quarantine is over? Oh, to a restaurant <laughs> and have somebody wait on me I know. instead of having to cook for everybody else. I totally want to go to a good restaurant. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So what is one piece of real estate advice for the community? One piece of advice you would share? <sighs> I'm going to go with a uh, buying community and I would suggest um, first step is getting with the lender. Okay. Get with a lender, um, find out what you qualify for. So that way you can start looking in the right price range. Um, once you find a home, you look like a, well, you don't look, you are, you're presenting a much stronger offer to a seller um, being pre-qualified or pre-approved. And lastly, if you find out that you can't get approved, at least you didn't spend a bunch of time looking for a home, fall in love with a home, and then find out that you don't qualify. That's so disappointing. Right. Get with that lender first, establish that relationship, and then he or she can help guide you in a direction, whether it's paying off debt or help um, give you some uh, ideas on how to raise your credit score so that way you eventually can get qualified. Awesome. Good piece of advice. I like it. I like it. All right. So we're going to go to the lightning round, right? This is the this or, this or that. It, this is the fun part. So okay. um, here we go. This or that. Okay. Sunrises or sunsets? Sunset. Okay. Um, beach or lake? Oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to go with beach. Okay. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> night Is owl? that even a question? It is a question, yes. <laughs> night, night owl or early bird? Night owl. Okay. Um, car or truck? Truck. Okay. All right. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Okay. All right. Really important one here. Often controversial on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is it grape jelly or strawberry jelly? Grape. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it's down. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. It, it, you'd be surprised. It, 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 there's a lot of controversy over that. Very difficult question at the end. Anyway, well, awesome. Thank you, Gina, for spending a couple of minutes with us today so we could learn a little bit more about you. And as always, thank you so much for leading the change in real estate and being a game changer. Well, thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. Bye.